Hi, I'm Giorgio Presti and I'm virtually here to present Ruffle, a user-controllable music shuffling algorithm. The shuffle feature of a music player is a function that lets the user listen to each song of a catalogue in a pseudo-random order. Of course, a key aspect of shuffling is indeed randomness. Unfortunately, as perfectly summarized by this strip, humans may encounter hard times when trying to grasp random sequences. Our discomfort in dealing with randomness is mainly due to two phenomena, the gambler's fallacy and the clustering illusion. The former one consists in thinking that, in a memoryless random draw, previous draws will influence the new ones, while the latter consists in recognizing small random clusters of samples as non-random. Speaking of music, when talking with an average listener about randomness in shuffling, ambiguities may arise. For example, is the random ordering of songs computed with or without regard of their metadata? I mean, in the latter case, without regarding metadata, songs can be seen simply as numbers drawn at random, disregarding, for example, that songs from the same author may be close together. While in the former case, that is considering metadata, the expected behavior is to avoid big clusters of similar elements. Users generally think to prefer true randomness, but, as we will see, when asked about uh, the expected behavior of a random shuffling, they expect randomness to behave more like in the metadata awareness type of random drawing. So, in order to tackle this aspect, we decided to design a tunable shuffling algorithm called Ruffle. To do that in the most rigorous way possible, we carried out a survey on user preferences about shuffling, upon which we designed the algorithm. The rest of the presentation is organized as follows. The outcome of the survey will be outlined very briefly. Then I will introduce the details about Ruffle, and finally a report of the evaluation of the algorithm will be discussed. Remember that much more details are available in the paper. Before we start, it must be said that Shuffle and recommendation are two different things. This paper deals with the shuffling problem only. Ok, let's go. The preliminary survey we made has been administered to 84 participants. It was divided into three parts. The first one collects general information about the users, such as uh, the average daily music listening time, the preferred player or platform, how often the shuffle function is used, and the level of satisfaction with the shuffle behavior. The second part consists in an open question inviting users to reflect on which should be the behavior of a shuffle algorithm and what constitutes a successful shuffled playlist. Answers were manually clustered into three categories, those about randomness, those about music properties and those about recommendation systems. In the paper, all of the comments are summarized into a small number of sentences, but here I will report only the most relevant for discussing Ruffle, that are those relative to music properties. As expected, this was the most frequent comment. Shuffle should be aware of music properties. In particular, genre, artist and generic music properties were the most cited. So, listeners expressed the desire to account for music metadata and features when shuffling music, but the interesting thing is that they don't all mean the same thing. All proposed songs should be strictly coherent in terms of one or more properties. Consecutive songs should be very different in terms of one or more properties. Some want the outcome to be coherent among draws, while others has the desire of a variety, a dualism which is well described by the next sentence. It should be possible to choose between coherent and incoherent behavior. Moreover, when dealing with variety, looks like gradual changes are appreciated. Changes of music properties should be gradual. In the final part of the questionnaire, users were requested to express their preferences regarding specific parameters. In particular, they were asked to tell, for each parameter, if it should be constant or variable across consecutive draws, or, just as in a true random draw, if it is irrelevant. It looks like no feature should be safely left to be completely random, in particular not how answers to the general property are polarized while artist and album are almost universally asked to be forced to be variable. We also tried to cluster these answers in order to provide a better view of the different expected shuffle behaviors. As you can see, the general exploration cluster is the most populated. In the end, 
we distilled a short list of guidelines that emerged from these and other data, which we hope will be useful for everyone who wants to design a successful shuffling algorithm. It's now time to introduce Ruffle. The basic idea is to generate a sequence of songs according to user preferences relative to each song property, such as metadata or audio features. In simple word, the user will be given a bunch of sliders, one for each song parameter, each allowing to decide if the song should be similar or different from the previous one, in terms of that particular property. These preferences can be interpreted as the amount of homogeneity among draws, and are expressed as a real-valued number between 0 and 1, where 1 denotes the desire to keep that property constant across draws, 0 denotes the desire to force different values of that property across draws, and 0 0.5 renders that particular property irrelevant, providing a true random behavior in regard to that specific aspect. From a top-down perspective, the algorithm works as follows. First, for each song not yet played, a probabilistic weight is computed, based on the similarity between each song and the last drawn song. Then, the next song to be played is drawn according to the calculated weights. Songs with higher probabilistic weights are more likely to be drawn in respect to those with a low weight. The probabilistic weight of a song is the product of all its subweights, one for each homogeneity parameter. In particular, each subweight is computed as a function of homogeneity parameter and a discrete similarity function between the property of the song and the corresponding property of the last drawn song. This function always outputs 1 when homogeneity is 0.5, regardless of the similarity, and this is what allows random behavior. If homogeneity is set to 1, it outputs 2 in case the similarity is 1, and 0 if a similarity is 0. If homogeneity is set to 0, it outputs 0 if similarity is 1, and 2 if similarity is 0. Finally, to implement some inertia in the system, so to satisfy the desire of gradual changes, probabilistic weights are updated among different rows by averaging the new value with the old one. How does this behave? Well, let's try it. Just go to ruffle.lim.di.unimi.it. With this tool, you can access your Spotify playlist. Pick one of the presets coming from the clustering I mentioned before, or even tune the Ruffle algorithm with personal settings. Once you shuffle your playlist or your entire catalog, you can also save it for future listening. Note that, since it is based on Spotify APIs, beside typical metadata, also Spotify audio features are available as properties to play with. To assess the validity of Ruffle, we use this tool in order to let 23 users evaluate the algorithm before answering a survey. One part of the survey focused on general impressions on Ruffle. The algorithm itself, beside available properties, has been marked as useful 17 times over 23. Similarly, the beta parameter has been marked as useful 17 times. Furthermore, 19 users liked its particular Ruffle results, and 22 said they would use it in real-world application, thus demonstrating that Ruffle is indeed a desirable feature. We also asked to imagine a preferred way to organize Ruffle settings, and it emerged that the most likely scenario would be to have a finite set of custom presets, as opposed to have only one preset to be set or forget, or to perform fine-tuning for each listening session. Finally, users were also asked to evaluate how frequently they would use each of the presets in the prototype, and to report their preferred manual settings. The preferred preset is indeed general exploration, the one with the most occurrences in the first survey. Nevertheless, when analyzing the reported custom settings, it turned out that custom settings were very different from the general exploration preset. To understand this phenomenon, consider that available presets were based only on basic metadata, while the customized settings were created by users also with the Spotify features in mind. In other words, this may suggest that in case only basic properties are available, general exploration is the most useful approach. Nevertheless, when the possibility to fine-tune preferences is given, a more versatile system customization is appreciated. So to wrap up, from our study, it looks like that a customizable shuffling algorithm may be welcome among listeners, and Ruffle may be a good candidate. 
Moreover, the very same algorithm may be useful also to shuffle other things, such as stimuli for experiments or dishes for your weekly menu. Feel free to try it and to implement your version. We are looking forward to seeing new ways of exploring music libraries. That's all, folks. Thanks for your attention.